Okay, I'm in Mastercam X7. I've drawn my wine glass tray right here. And remember, I always start right here with machine type, router, techno servo. That brings up this property manager. Over here, I set up my stock. I put my bit in my lower left corner. My stock is actually 8 by 8. And my tray is going to be 7 by 7. So I'm setting my stock up here so I have room to screw it down in the corners. And the depth of my wood is 13 sixteenths because it's hardwood. If I want to see it, I have that displayed. So there's my stock setup. I just drew a reference triangle to bring this over, uh, half inch by half inch. Drew another rectangle. Um, drew a line down from the center point, offset that, and then drew the circle in, took this whole contour, offset it on the inside, and then trimmed it down. So there's my geometry. Now that my geometry is all done, I want to tool path it. The first tool path I'm going to do is the pocket. So I go tool path, pocket, uh, name it. I go around this whole pocket either direction because it's going to be inside the line. I'm going to use a quarter inch flat end mill, and I'm going to go at a feed rate of 60 and a plunge rate of 30. I hold those settings. And then I work my way down here, holder, cut parameters, roughing. I'm going to use a zigzag, entry motion, finishing. I do want to finish it. Lead in, lead out is turned off. Depth of cuts, I'm going to set that at 0 0.2, which is a little bit less than um, the diameter of the quarter inch flat end mill. Hold that setting, right through linking parameters. Again, these are all absolute. I'm going to make that pocket negative 0.3 deep. Hold those settings. Okay. So there's my pocket. That needs to be the first tool path. The second tool path is the contour. I'm going to do it as a chain. I go clockwise around the outside of the object. Again, my tool is going to be the same chord and a straight bit with a feed rate of 60 and a plunge rate of 30. I'm going to cut it in hard maple, so I want to go pretty slow. Holder, cut parameters. This is on computer. I'm going clockwise. That puts my bit on the outside. That's good. Depth of cut is the same point two. Hold that setting. Lead in, lead out is turned off. Breakthrough, multi passes, tabs. I am going to do tabs on this. So I select tabs, automatic. And I want to create tabs on all of the pieces here. And I'm going to increase my tabs to 0.04 for my tab height. All those settings, linking parameters, these are all absolute. This is a negative value, negative 13 sixteenths, because it's hardwood. Hold those settings, and there it is. So I have my two tool paths. I'm going to select them both. Go to verify. I want to verify in an isometric view, fit to the screen. After I'm done verifying it, I make sure I save the file. I save it under my name, and then I post the code to the flash drive. So this is G1 post. Um, I want to make sure I post it to the flash drive. In this case, I'm just going to put it on the desktop. Um, and now I've taken all this information and converted it into code. And here's my numeric code, and this is what I take out to run on the CNC route. So I have an 8 inch by 8 inch piece of maple. I don't have any double sided tape. My plan has tabs in it to hold it down, but I do have wood screws to hold it in all corners. I got a quarter inch flat end mill there. Um, first thing I need to do is bring that mill over to my zero point. I'm in my lower left corner. I zero all of my coordinates, and now I'm saying this is my origin. I go to file. I bring in my file off of the flash drive. It's in the Schwartz folder, and then I go down to wine glass tray, and I have my two here. This is 77 hardwood wine glass, so it's out file. I bring it in. I pre-process it. I always like to preview it to make sure my bit's in the lower left corner and it's the right part. Um, and then I turn the central back on, and I hit start, and I'm ready to go. So let's go ahead and run the wine glass tray. I'm all done running. I'm going to move the CNC out of the way. Pull my screws out. See how it came out. So 
there's my tray, barely held in place with the tabs. A little bit of a warp in the board, so I'm going to use a bandsaw to cut it out, and then I'm going to router off the edges. There it is, all routered. I'm going to use the orbital sander to smooth it all out, a little bit of finish sanding, and I could oil it, and I'm ready to go.